Hello, this is part two of my videos on how to create a replica of the anti kissera mechanism. In part one, I had presented a plan on how to build such a replica. And I now have modeled the gear wheels on the computer and printed them out with a 3D printer. There are essentially four assemblies. First the main wheel B1 and the input crown wheel A1. Then the moon mechanism with wheels C, D and the E wheels and K as well as B3 for the moon hand. The large moon gear E3, E4 is connected to the wheels F, G, H and Y used for predicting solar and lunar eclipses. The third assembly consists of wheels L, M, N, O, P and Q for calendaric calculations. And the fourth assembly are the wheels and follower arms of the geocentric planetarium. So far I only have Mercury, Venus and the true Sun. These gears are mounted on the main wheel B1. I now show you the base plate with the main wheel B1. It is driven by the crown wheel A1. Forward into the future and backward into the past. Two fixed gears for the epicyclic movements of the Sun, Mercury and Venus are mounted on the main wheel. These two wheels, which I have here in white, do not rotate with the main wheel, but are firmly connected to the base plate. From below come the wheels C for the moon mechanism and L for the calendar calculations. The epicyclic moon mechanism on wheel E3 is quite interesting. Here wheels E5 and E6 are slightly different in size. E5 engages with K1, which has a pin, and K2 on top of it, which has a slot into which the pin engages. This replicates the moon's varying orbital speed. This is then transferred to wheel E1 on the back and from there upwards to the moon pointer. Finally, I'd like to show what I have so far for the geocentric planetarium. The main wheel B1 with the two fixed wheels Mercury 1 and Sun Venus 1. Then the Mercury wheel with a pin at the top and the Mercury follower. The same applies to Venus, the Venus wheel with pin and follower. And finally the two wheels for the true Sun also with a follower. Finally the plate that closes off the inner planetary wheels at the top. I will now first assembly the Mercury wheel with the follower, then the Venus wheel and finally the two Sun wheels also with the follower. I don't have the tubes for transmitting the movements upwards to the hands yet. A small plate will be added on top as a finish. When the drive wheel turns, the Mercury and Venus wheels turn according to their orbital periods. And this movement is transmitted to the follower arms via the pins. This also includes the retrograde movements of the planets, which can occasionally be observed in the sky. I hope you found the video interesting and that you are looking forward to part 3, where I'll continue working on this replica. See you then.